Now let's talk about handling petty cash in QuickBooks. A lot of times people miss the mark when it comes to petty cash. I've seen lots of QuickBooks files where petty cash is set up as an expense account and that is oh so wrong. Petty cash is not an expense account. Petty cash is the equivalent of a bank account. So petty cash could be the hundred dollars that is stacked away in the file cabinet in a lock box and it's used for little small purchases that don't reoccur. So for instance if you run out of stamps and um, you just need to go run across the street and grab a couple of stamps you may get the money out of the petty cash account and run and go and get stamps. But this is not petty cash is not the expense in that case the expense is postage. So let me show you how to properly set up your petty cash account in QuickBooks and record your petty cash transactions. So generally again petty cash is, is some cash that is in the office maybe maybe the office manager or the receptionist or the secretary may have the petty cash box and they may keep up with it um, a different way. But remember this cash had to come from somewhere so more than likely it, it would have come from the operating account and it is maybe withdrawn from the ATM or by writing a check and put into the petty cash account. So let's let's take it through. I'm going to show you all of the steps to properly set up your petty cash account. Now our petty cash account is already set up on our chart of accounts. If it is not set up on your chart of accounts you will need to add it. So you see here we have a petty cash account. If your QuickBooks file does not have a petty cash account you simply go and add a new account and just select bank and you'll name that account petty cash. I'm not going to set one up because I already have one. Okay so now we are going to write a check to our, um, we're going to write a check out to cash and our secretary is going to go to the bank and cash the check and put it in our petty cash fund. So let's go to the home screen. From the home screen we are writing a check and we're writing the next check number which is this and we're going to write this check out to cash. Cash is not on our list and it's not a person so we'll add it to our other name list click OK and we're going to write this check for $100. And in the memo line I'm going to write replenish petty cash. Now for our account we are not selecting an expense account remember because we are just transferring basically this money from the checking account into the petty cash account. So we save and close. So now if we go back to our chart of accounts we will see that our now, our, now our petty cash has $100 in it. If we right click here we can get a register and it looks very similar to a checking account register. So your petty cash fund is going to be treated just like a checking account register. So let's say you need to run and go get some postage. You need stamps to finish mailing out your December newsletter. So you go and just like writing a check, we're going to write a check to USPS, United States Postal Service. They're not on our list so we'll quickly add them to our vendor list and we pay seven dollars and forty cents for a book of stamps and so the account is postage and we just put here in the memo stamps and we save and so now our petty cash account has ninety two dollars and sixty cents so let's say after you leave the post office you need to grab some tape so you run by the office supply store to grab some tape so we go and we put in staples they're not on the list so we'll add them real quick to our vendor list and the tape was three dollars and twenty four cents and so we put that in office supplies and we just put in our memo tape and you see how every time I enter a transaction I will 
it deducts it from my balance. So if I were to audit the petty cash account, according to the register, there should be $89.36. So when I go to the box to count the money, there should be $89.36 in receipts and the different, I mean in cash, and the difference should be the total of the receipts. So if I wanted to, if I needed to replenish petty cash, I would just simply repeat those steps. So let's add one more transaction just to make sure you get the hang of it. Let's say that you order pizza. And so for the office. And so you're going to pay for it out of petty cash. And the pizza for the entire office was 50 bucks. And so we put that in meals. We'll put it in. won't necessarily be meals. It could be meals, but you can only deduct 50% of meals. So, I think I want to put it for now we'll put it in miscellaneous. And we'll say pizza for the office. And so now petty cash is low, so I need to write another check to replenish petty cash. So if I go to my home screen, I need to write a check to replenish petty cash. And I always want my petty cash to be a certain number. So I'm not going to write another check for $100. I'm going to write a check for whatever the difference is. So $100. And did you know you could do math here? $39.36 was the balance. So the check needs to be $60.64. And we'll say the same thing. Replenish petty cash. And the account is petty cash. And so when we save and close, go back to our register, we'll see that our petty cash account is back at $100. So this is the proper way to handle petty cash.